Lizzo's hit songs are often accompanied by messages of body positivity. Watch out for the big girls. While promoting her Emmy-winning reality show, Watch Out for the Big Girls, Lizzo told today she was looking for dancers who matched that message. I finally had the platform to do an open call audition for girls who look like me. But in a new lawsuit filed by three former dancers, Lizzo was accused of weight shaming. One of the dancers, Ariana Davis, says Lizzo called attention to her weight gain with thinly veiled concerns, though she never explicitly stated it. I just had this feeling that they had a problem with the way I was gaining weight. Davis filed the suit with Crystal Williams and Noel Rodriguez. They allege that at an after party at a strip club in Amsterdam where sexually explicit acts were taking place on stage, Lizzo began inviting cast members to take turns touching the performers. I briefly touched the performer. I was very mortified. Everyone burst into laughter. It's something Davis says she didn't want to do but felt pressured to do. I did not ask for it. Um, I said no multiple times. According to the suit, the dancers also allege Lizzo falsely accused them of drinking alcohol before shows, and because of that, they were forced to audition for their jobs again. She would pick and choose when she wanted to be professional and when she wanted things to be personal. Both Williams and Davis say they were fired this past spring while Rodriguez resigned. In an interview, Davis also describing an interaction with Lizzo. She proceeded to say, you know, dancers get fired for gaining weight. You should basically be grateful to be here. The trio is also suing Lizzo's production company and her dance captain, Shirlene Quigley, accusing her of forcing her religious beliefs on them. Lizzo has not commented on the suit. A champion of positivity on stage, now accused of enabling a toxic work environment behind the curtain. You go from preaching about sisterhood to then turning around and saying that it's a privilege that you know us by name. Efforts by NBC News to reach Lizzo's production company were unsuccessful, and her dance captain, Shirlene Quigley, has not responded to our request for comment. We also want to point out not every claim in the lawsuit was brought against every defendant. I mean, uh, Lizzo's got such an online presence, Joe. What's been the reaction there? What are folks saying on the... Uh... So after Lizzo posted to Instagram yesterday without referencing the controversy at all, many fans did react with dismay in the comments. Some other former employees, including her ex-creative director, have weighed in supporting the former dancers and suggesting they witnessed and experienced similar treatment. Some online are also pointing out, by the way, that Beyonce at her concert last night left Lizzo's name out of a lyric that usually lists her along with other artists. Lots of speculation right now as fans react to the news well, of this Lizzo will probably speak out soon, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. All right, Joe. Sure, please, Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.